Let's discuss this theory. In the past, the standard thought about health based off the World Health Organization and Rogers theory was that health was the absence of disease or disability, while being sick meant you had a disease or disability. Newman noted that this theory was flawed and simply not possible given the population of people with chronic conditions. She felt that patients with chronic conditions could be labeled as healthy. From this, she expanded on the theory by introducing the theory of health as expanding consciousness. So what is Newman's theory? The theory asserts that every person in every situation, no matter how disordered and hopeless it may seem, is part of the universal process of becoming more of oneself of finding greater meaning in life, of reaching new dimensions of connectedness with other people and the world. Individuals are constantly interacting with different energies in the universe. These interactions within the universe evolve each individual's unique pattern as a whole. So what are patterns? Patterns are very much like the game of life. They include genetics, developments, physical changes, life experiences, social interactions, and all routines from inception to death. How does Newman relate an individual's pattern to disease? Throughout the lifespan, diseases manifest themselves through the individual's evolving patterns from person to environment interactions. The person could be aware of negative effects such as smoking or unaware of negative effects such as presence of cancer genes. Being aware of your patterns is what Newman means by expanding consciousness. This awareness or expanding consciousness by the patient as well as the nurse helps to identify issues within the patient's pattern to help the patient realize the disease process, its recovery, its prevention, and ways to adapt.